Hello again, everybody. Today we've got 18 packs of 1994 Leaf Baseball Series 1. You see with the gray pack with Don Mattingly on it. And we got 18 packs of 1994 Leaf Series 2. That's the gold pack. I'm not going to share any information because there's plenty of time to talk over this. So I'm going to get right into this. We're going to start with the Series 1 packs first. You'll notice several different players featured on the packs. Um, 1994 Leaf. Um, 440 cards total, 220 cards uh, per series. And there's the, uh, so each team has a different kind of color style. You see the Marlins, you see the Twins, you see the Pirates here. So nice color photo, some gold foil with the Leaf logo, the last name, team name on the bottom. And then on the back, looks like a ticket stub, information on the player, and then the last year's stats with their career stats. So. And then the background on the back is the uh, the stadium. It looks like Pro Player Stadium, the Marlins' first stadium. Carl Willis, he's got the, uh, the Metrodome in the background. Jay Bell, he's got Three Rivers Stadium. So, so on and so forth. Uh, I think you'll see, I've opened a few packs already. You'll see player selection in this is not great for Series 1. We're more, I think, looking for inserts. There's also no real key rookies. There's like... Five or six rookie cards in the entire 94 Leaf set. Alan Trammell featuring Kirby Puckett, Billy Ashley, Tim Bova. So, um, so yeah, we're basically, um, in my mind, insert and star card hunting here. And that's why I think you can get these cards fairly cheap. I got uh, 28 packs of Series 1 and 19 packs of Series 2 on eBay. So they were partially open boxes um, together. Uh, I got them for about $30 after shipping. So I got a pretty good price. You can see a little bit of bricking here, but not too bad. That's what you got to look for with these cards. The glossy finish um, really puts these cards at risk for some surface damage. And you can see already Tom Candiotti in the same pack duplicate. So it's not great. Brian Harvey, Jay Buhner, Roberto Hernandez, Mark Grace, most hits in the 90s, and uh, Steve Cook. So two packs down, <clears throat> and you can see player selection is not great here. Um, some info on Series 1. Uh, there were some uniform and logo changes uh, for the Rangers, the Indians, the Brewers, and the Astros. So you'll notice that those teams were held out of Series 1, which I think hurts the uh, potential star power here. Uh, so they had some logo changes. And then a limited number of Giants are in Series 1 because they had some minor modifications to the team's uniform. So that explains partially also the uh, weak player selection, if you want to call it that. Uh, also, they introduced Super Packs. With this 1994 season, there's Mike Messina, Hall of Famer. Um, they introduced super packs, uh, packs that have a full of inserts. I don't know. I haven't seen any listed odds for those. Uh, Jamie Moyer with the O's, Ozzy Guillen. Um, haven't seen any odds for those. Uh, but we'll get into some of the odds as we pull some inserts. Hopefully it will come soon because there really hasn't been much action in these first few packs at all. And the player selection is terrible. Ricky Gutierrez, Richie Lewis, Carl Willis, just a bunch of no-names. Todd Benzinger, Jay Buhner again. Oh, oh, here we go. First insert of the set. This is the um, 1990 Leaf reprint card of Frank Thomas. This is his Frank Thomas. This is what his 1990 Leaf rookie card looked like uh, with a five-year foil on it. It's a one card off. And it's not really a set because it's one card, but it's one out of 36 packs. So that's a cool little insert there. And that's the first big card of this break. But that 1991 Leaf rookie card of uh, Frank Thomas, Tino Martinez, Alan Trammell again, Billy Ashley, but that 1990 Frank Thomas rookie card does hold some value if you can get your hands on the original. Um, 
and if you can, especially if you can get it graded. I don't know that this one holds more, any real significant value, probably more than a couple of bucks. So um, there we go. We got Cal Ripken Jr. We got Doc Gooden with a little bit of surface damage there. Uh, ben McDonald, Archie Cianfroco, The Rock, The Rock Before The Rock, Tim Raines. Got Big Daddy, Cecil Fielder. Mark Langston, Brian Thompson, Ben McDonald. You can see these are just, man, there's just no stars. If I had bought a pack like this back in 1994 and spent a couple of bucks, I'd be real bummed out, I think. So these did come in hobby and retail packs and also jumbo. Uh, these are the hobby packs. From what I can tell, the hobby and the retail odds are similar. Um, I don't see any differences here on BaseballCardpedia.com. Chris Quinn, Ben McDonald, Don Slott, Alan Trammell for the third time, Steve Cook, Jeff Conine, Cecil Fielder, Jack McDowell, former Cy Young winner, Benzinger, McDonald. So we've seen all these already. And you can see, um, just from the handful of packs I've opened, I think we're about seven packs in, um, player selection is just really poor. Another Ripken, another Gooden. Scott Livingstone, Dante Bichette, Derek May. Got Nails, Lenny Dykstra, Mark Langston, Ryan Thompson. All right, got the big unit. Hall of Famer, Randy Johnson, Danny Jackson, Devon White, and another Dante Bichette. So we're really not getting a whole lot of variety here, which is kind of why I opened some of the packs already. Didn't want to do a full, open up all 28 <laughs> Series 1 packs, because I'd opened up a few and I'd noticed the problems right off the bat. I think 18 packs of this is going to be more than enough. And hopefully we've got some inserts to uh, Don Slott, Ryan Thompson, Randy Johnson again, and Chipper Jones. Nice. Early career Chipper Jones. Uh, Chipper was starting to break out in that 94 timeline there. It's really when he was starting to come into his own former number one overall pick. Now Baseball Hall of Famer, Pat Henkin, future Cy Young winner, another Tom Candiotti, Andy Darwin, Ruben Sierra, Jeff King, Chico Lind, Real Cormier, who Deion Sanders, Coach Prime, Tim Scott, Finishes out that pack. All right, we got Mike Stanton, Mike Morgan. We got an insert coming in here. Glenn Allen Hill, and our insert is statistical standouts. Greg Maddox. Those are one out of 12 packs. So that is nice foil. You can see though the foil makes these hard to get gem mint tens because you can see that corner just from the not quite all the way there so those are hard to probably get gem mint tens out of but still greg maddox nice one definitely go into the uh, personal collection there hasselman mike Devereaux, greg jeffries Danny Darwin for the uh, fourth time, I think. Another Benito Santiago, another Tim Raines. So inserts are kind of what you're looking for here if you're buying 1994 Leaf. In a few moments, we'll see what the Series 2 kind of looks like. Um, maybe that, that better player selection because uh, Series 1 is not, not up to par here. Jim Gott. Chad Kruger, Jose Offerman, Jay Buhner, Rick Aguilera, 
Roberto Hernandez, Mark Grace, Mike Lansing, Jose Offerman, and uh, Danny Cox. So there we go. Six more to go on the Series 1. All right. Uh, Tim Nairing. Chris Basio, Luis Alisea, Mike Perez, Anthony Young, rest in peace, no longer with us. Jeff Kent with the Mets before he broke out a few years later with the Giants. Mel Rojas, Doug Brokale, Mark Dewey, Mike Perez, and my guy, Donnie Baseball. Nice. Donnie Baseball always goes into the cards that I'm saving. I do have that one already in my collection, but keep the one that's maybe in better shape. I don't keep too many Mattingly duplicates. It gets a little cumbersome if you start doing that. Uh, Lance Johnson. Aaron Seeley. This would have been a hot card in 94. Mariano Duncan. Mark Dewey, Mike Gallego, a AL East checklist. So it looks like they do this, um, or Eastern Division, yeah. Oh no, it looks like players from all divisions, but uh, I'm not sure how that works, but interesting. Pat Kelly, Frank Viola. Bernard Gilkey, another Eastern Division checklist. Jeff Kent and Ooh, Sammy Sosa. Nice. Sammy Sosa started coming into his own right around this time. 93, 94 started becoming that 30 30 home run stolen base threat. Then a few years later would evolve into the uh, home run chase hero that most of us remember. Pretty quiet these days. I haven't heard much from Sammy Sosa. I think with all the steroid talk, he's kind of uh, gone quiet. Well, speaking of Sammy, there he is once again. Charlie Hayes with the Rockies. Key Brian Hayes is the son of Charlie Hayes. Some of you may not know that. Some of you might. Mel Rojas, Doug Brokale. We're not really seeing a whole lot of new stuff. We've got three more packs of 1994 Series 1. These packs don't open particularly well either. Not that there's a whole lot worth protecting, but you never know. We may get one of the bigger hits here. So we've got Jay Bell, another checklist, Western Division. We've got Orestes Destrada, with the Marlins. Devo, Devon White, Don Slot. Again, too much flipping. These are not great for pack breaking. Tony Phillips, I'm not even going to flip. Up. Phil Plantier, Kevin Gross, Tim Bogar, Derek Bell, and Len Dykstra. All right. Brad Holman, Greg Myers, we got an insert. It is 1994 Gold Leaf Rookie of Steve Carse. Um, let's see, Gold Leaf Rookies are one out of 18 packs. Um, probably not the, uh, not definitely not the best one in this set. First 10 cards, Carlos Delgado, Manny Ramirez, and uh, Javi Lopez are probably the three best cards in the set. Steve Carse, not, not really all that great, but still, it's an insert. One out of 18 packs. There's the Professor, Greg Maddox. Tommy Green, John Valentin, Jeff Conine, Cecil Fielder, Mark Langston. We'll do one more. And then we'll start opening the uh, the series two. I know we got the one in the background, but to be honest with you, I, I'm kind of itching to get into the series two. 
Todd Stottlemyre, Danny Jackson, and these are bricked as well. So, John Valentin again, Darren Fletcher. Ooh, we got the Hawk. Andre Dawson with the Red Sox into career. Johnny Franco with the Mets. Take a look at that one. Lefty reliever, lefty closer. Tim Salmon, the 93 AL Rookie of the Year. And then Dick Schofield to finish that out. So that's Series 1. Um, not a recommend, I guess, at this point. I think we can uh, all say Series 1, not much to write home about. Series 2, we've got John Wetland, Sid Fernandez, Gene Harris. Oh, we got an insert here. Looks like another gold rookie. We've got Matt Wahlbeck. So Series 1 had cards 1 through 10 of the gold rookie set, and 11 through 20 were Series 2. Series 2, probably the best card in the set. Probably Cliff Floyd. So not a good selection there. Matt Wahlbeck, um, also 1 out of 18 packs. But uh, Bob Hamlin, the 94 AL Rookie of the Year, the Hammer. Wouldn't stick around in the league too long, but uh, long enough to win AL Rookie of the Year. And if he uh, he has a very, no, he's a brick. Yeah, these are damaged. Oof. That's not good. Luckily, the Gold Leaf Rookie didn't sustain much damage. Hopefully, that is not going to be the case for the rest of these packs. This pack doesn't seem too bad, actually. Got Vince Coleman, Scott Fletcher, Ryan Bowen, Tuffy Rhodes. Wow. Never heard of Tuffy Rhodes. Now I have Solomon Torres, Kenny Rogers, who would pitch a perfect game, I believe, in 94. Royce Clayton, uh, Mickey Tettleton, Steve Finley, Kenny Lofton. Eduardo Perez, son of Tony Perez, and Gary Sheffield in that sweet Marlins uniform. Love the early 90s, the early first few years of Marlins jerseys. Classic. All right, this pack, you can hear it and feel it. Chili Davis, Will Clark. Will Clark and Eric Davis, two of the uh, late 80s. Hobby Darlings, Bob Welch, Kirk Gibson. And these are having some surface damage. Mike Stanley, Chris Turner, Darren Jackson, Todd Burrell, Pat Listash, former Rookie of the Year himself, a, uh, Andy Van Slyke, and Jose Canseco with some surface damage. Packs do not open well. My God. I just got pieces of pack all over the table here. Brett Boone with the Reds. Mark Portugal. I'm not even going to flip these. These are just Kevin Brown. Oh, these are bad. David Segui. Dean Palmer. Charles Nagy. Lando Merced, Brian Jordan, Luis Polonia, Daryl Kyle, rest in peace, Mike Felder, and David Need, Hobby Darling in this era as well. 93, Dave Need was one of the kind of the top promoted stars of the initial Rockies team. Didn't quite pan out. Oh, this pack doesn't feel too bad. Pete Smith. Beret, Diaz, Ramon Martinez, Eddie Murray, Steady Eddie. We got the hammer again, Bob Hamlin, Bill Swift, Zane Smith, uh, Ryan Klesko, Kevin Seitzer, we've got Greg Vaughn, and an Eastern Division National League checklist. 
So I think it's safe to say here, uh, Series 2 is not going much better than Series 1. This may explain why these cards are easier to find. Our Albert Bell right on the top. But this is a brick pack. Andy Harcedeno. Greg Hubbard. El Presidente. Dennis Martinez. Another Eddie Murray. Bip Roberts. I'm just hoping this is not an insert pack. Pedro Martinez. We got the flow going on there. 94 Expos. Expos and the Yankees were the two teams really um, that were really kind of taken off there in 94. DJ Serhoff, Ken Caminiti, Juan Gonzalez. But when the, uh, the baseball strike hit in August of 94, the Expos were kind of running away with the National League and the Yankees were uh, leading in the American League. And a lot of people think that would have been the World Series matchup if the season had continued to play out. Of course, we'll never know. Um, and then the Expos were shortly thereafter kind of dismantled by ownership. A lot of their best players were kind of traded away. And it was kind of the beginning of the end for the Expos. Otis Nixon, the hit dog, Mo Vaughn, Jose Rio, Omar Vizquel, Dan Wilson. So it does feel like Series 2 Leaf does have a bit of a better player selection than Series 1. It does feel that way. Not by much, but I think there is some improvement. There's Moises Alou. Kent Merker, Jack Morris, Hall of Famer, Graham Lloyd, David Need, the Ageless Wonder, Julio Franco, Willie McGee, former MVP, great hitter, or maybe a batting champion, I should say. I don't know if he was an MVP. Kirby Puckett, Ken Griffey Jr., great pack here. The bar's pretty low for these, but this is... Uh, West Chamberlain for a pack that has no inserts. That's about as good as it gets. Griffey Jr., Kirby Puckett, Jack Morris in there. All right. This pack doesn't seem too bad either. Tim Belcher. Just a little bit of sticking here. Dave Valley, Trevor Hoffman. Uh, would be the all-time saves leader for a few seasons. And then Mariano Rivera surpassed him. John Smoltz, uh, Mike Felder, Todd Worrell, Tom Gordon. Collation's not great here. Doug Drabeck, another Eddie Murray, Doug Staten, Dean Palmer. So not, not very good player. Collation, selection. Kind of a disappointing break. To be honest with you, let's see if we can hit it on a couple of inserts, perhaps. Oh, I see one. Jeremy Burnitz. We've got Hojo, Howard Johnson with the Rockies. we got Rene Arrocha. And then we've got Power Brokers, Albert Bell. That's a sweet looking card there. Power Brokers, one out of 12 packs in Series 2. And that's Albert Bell. Talks about when he has his home runs, what kind of pitch, when in the count. That's kind of cool. So that's card 10 out of 10. So that's our uh, first, second insert out of this portion of the break. Paul Sorrento. We've got David Justice. Darren Lewis. Chris Carpenter. Chris James. Dave Nilsson. And Pedro Munoz. Dave Valley, Trevor Hoffman, Brad Osmus, Johnny Ruffin, one of the most recent Hall of Famers, Fred McGriff, Kevin Mitchell, Doug Drabeck, Kevin McReynolds, we got a Jim Tomei, Dave Staten, Dean Palmer, and Kurt Schilling, still there with the Phillies at that point. 
was the Phillies and the Blue Jays in the 93 World Series. So Schilling had just come off of that run. First of several World Series he'd be playing in. Ricky Henderson. Ricky loves Ricky. Jeffrey Hammonds. All right, we got some... Oh, this is a good pack. Wade Boggs. Bo Jackson. Uh, interrupted by Randy Milligan, but brought back by Ken Griffey Jr. Luis Gonzalez. Kevin Mitchell. Paul Sorrento. Pete Smith. Jason Berre. Alex Diaz. Pretty good non-insert pack. Travis Fryman. Got the Rocket. Roger Clemens. Gene Harris. Lee Smith. John Crook. We got Bip. And Bip. We got a double Bip. We've got Bob Hamlin, Chuck Nagy, Jimmy Key, Carlos Garcia, and John Wetland. Uh, four more packs to go here. Oh, this one's giving me some trouble. This one is... That's a mangled pack right there. Wow. All right, Willie Banks, Kevin Stocker, West Chamberlain, Dwayne Ward, John Jaha, Luis Gonzalez, Carol Hamilton, Brian Harper, Manny Lee, Stan Javier, Scott Leyes, Todd Hundley. Wow. Some bust, busts of a pack here. So as we finish up, we're down to the last three packs of Series 2. I would probably not recommend Leaf 90, uh, 94. I don't think I recommended Leaf 93, to be honest with you. Greg Biggio. This was considered a premium product, too, at the time. And this is just... The card quality is good. There's some cool inserts, but, man, there's a lot of player selections just not good. And you got to just open a ton of packs to find the inserts that you're really hoping to find. So this is just kind of disappointing. I don't know how I would have felt opening these in 94. Maybe maybe not so bad. There's Tony Gwynn, Chuck Carr. No inserts here. Bobby Jones, Dunstan, Chris Turner, Reggie Jefferson. I mean, this, real, this set really needs rookie cards. This is just... Mahomes Sr., Bayerga, Doug Jones, or Todd Jones, I should say. And finally, our last pack. Not a great 18-card break. Insert-wise, I think we did better on Series 1, but Series 2 has just been uh, not good. There's Mike Piazza. But this is a brick pack, so. Rod Beck. Jose Mesa. Mike Jackson on the other side, John Crook, Paul Sorrento, oh, this is brick bad, Dwayne Ward, we've got Bo again, there's Bo Jackson, wow, Danny Tartable, Tony Fernandez, Chuck Finley, Alex Fernandez, and Paul Sorrento, so that's that's it. That is 36 packs total, 18 uh, of Series 1 Leaf and 18 of Series 2. Uh, we'll just go through our insert Series 2. We did get the Albert Bell Power Brokers, 1 out of 12. 94 Gold Leaf rookie Matt Walbeck from Series 1. We got a 1 out of 36 Frank Thomas, 1 out of uh, 12 Statistical Standouts Greg Maddox, and a 1 out of 18 Gold Leaf Rookie of Steve Carse. So we did a little better with Series 1, oh, as I dropped them. Um, we did a little better with Series 1, insert-wise. Um, very small pile of um, star player, um, Hall of Famer-type cards. 
So overall, not a recommend on Series 1 Leaf, but if you can get it at the price I did, which is about $30 for, you know, uh, 40 or so packs, go for it. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. But uh, it's a no-go for me on 94 Leaf. Until then, uh, until next time, I should say, thank you for watching. And have a great day, everyone. So long. Take care.